<clears throat> Total cycle time, also known as just cycle time. So what this is, is total cycle time is basically the time needed for one complete respiratory cycle. If we think about it mathematically, it is just my inspiratory time plus my expiratory time, and that will equal my total cycle time. So if you want to look at it and get a picture of it using the ventilator, the ventilator screen, we can look at it this way. So we can look at, let's use my flow waveform down here. So here's the start of my inspiration right here, start of my inspiratory flow. So my inspiratory phase, and then I have this whole expiratory phase. So I have this whole expiratory phase to follow. So this total time here would be my total cycle time. Now on this older ventilator, this baby log, it's kind of easy to figure out my total cycle time, what it is, if I'm using that equation, because I have a setting here for my inspiratory time and my expiratory time. So based on this, if we look at the setting, I have 0 0.3 seconds plus right here, it's set at one second, that equals 1.3 seconds and that is my total cycle time. So some ventilators still today, um, I actually set an inspiratory expiratory time and I really don't know a frequency so I had to calculate my frequency based on that. And more people are more focused on setting a frequency than setting a especially an expiratory time. So it's a good way to figure out frequency, but on the baby log it has a screen on it that shows what the frequency is, so you don't have to mathematically figure it out. Once you know your total cycle time, so we had a total cycle time of 1.3 seconds, and we divide that into 60, that gives us our frequency. So our set frequency equals 60 seconds because there's 60 seconds in a minute divided by our total cycle time and if we do that that's approximately 46 breaths per minute but if we take a look at most ventilators to light day we don't set an inspiratory time we do not set an expiratory time at all we're setting a frequency altogether and we're setting an IE ratio or I time percentage or just an I time itself. However, once I know my frequency, then I can use the exact same equation and find my total cycle time. So for example, if um, I could still take 60 and divide it by my frequency, and then I could find my total cycle time out. So I have a respiratory rate of 10 here, and I divide by the 10, my total cycle time is 6 seconds. Now newer, newer machines, as you notice, newer ventilators, they have these little smart windows. Here's an example of a smart window right here. That already calculates my inspiratory time. And that's also based on my IE ratio, so whatever my IE ratio is set at. But some older ventilators don't have this, and they're still in use. And what's kind of nice is if you have a cheat sheet or a cheat chart, and this is what I have for setting up my MRI vents or ventilators that um, I want to know what the inspiratory time is and the total cycle time and everything else. So I'm going to kind of go over this nice little chart here. I'm going to just change the color to blue to make it stand out. So it's broken down into rate. And here's my cycle time right here, and here's my percentages or my IE ratios, and it'll give me my total cycle time. So we use the same example. My respiratory rate was. And then we were on a 1 to 2 ratio. So this is set up for a 1 to 2.3 ratio. However, a 1 to 2 ratio is approximately 33%. 
so it's going to be a little different here. And as you notice, that's 1.3 seconds for my inspiratory time. And as you notice here, since it was a different IE ratio, just a little difference, 1.73. So cheat sheets are nice in the clinic and come in handy so you don't have to carry calculators. That thing easily folds up and puts in a pocket. It's great for students and teaching and everything else. It's just another example where it doesn't show my total, um, my total cycle time. I don't know my total cycle time at all. However, this um, new ventilator also has a little smart winter window based on your settings, based on my set frequency and my inspiratory time percent. It will calculate my inspiratory and my expiratory time there. Then I can calculate that. I can add those two together. 1.65 plus my 3.35 and that will equal my total cycle time. So no, once you know your total cycle time or how to figure it out, you can use this for many equations that can be helpful. So I'd re recommend